Did you know that in Lotus Notes it actually has its own RSS feed reader? And this is one of the good things about Notes is that um, you can get data from all over the place now, such as I've shown in another video how to get um, Google Calendar to work within your Lotus Notes calendar and things like that. So you can bring it all into one. So Lotus Notes is kind of acting really like a um, one-stop place or a portal for um, all the things that you use um, in your job. So if I click here on feeds on the sidebar, you can see I've got a couple of RSS feeds there. Now I'm just going to show you how to actually go about adding a new feed to it. So if I click on start and I go to Internet Explorer or Firefox in this case and I go to a site that um, offers me a RSS feed so in this case, I'm going to go to www.planetlotus.org And in here, I can have a look and I can see comments and things from people. It basically aggregates people's blogs all into one place. So let's click on Ed Brill. Ed Brill is um, a senior person at IBM and he's got a really active blog and with a whole lot of helpful information I often refer to it. So because of that I might want to be able to get his RSS feed off there. Now I can go down and see all of the comments that he's made over quite some time. Obviously he does a lot of blogging. Okay and here I've got an RSS feed directly to his blog. Now he may actually have a link on his blog to create an RSS feed but just because I know that there's heaps of feeds in here, I thought I'd come here to grab it. So I can just copy that, that link. Now if we go back to Lotus Notes, I just click on this little symbol here, the orange symbol with the green plus, and that gives me the ability to add or subscribe to a RSS feed. So I just go paste, and I paste, paste that URL into there, and click on go. Now it's going to go off to the internet now and it's just going to have a look at that feed and bring a little bit of information in from Lotus Notes, sorry into Lotus Notes so that we can make sure we've got the right thing. So it's downloading some headers from his RSS feed and here we can adjust the feed name if we want to, um, how often it should check for updates, we can change that, um, we can change that to make it every minute if we want, if we really want to watch um, his updates and how long we want to keep a cache of his entries so that we can scroll through them. So I've got one week here and I click on OK and now we've got Ed Brill here on the side and you'll see that nothing's actually coming up until it kind of loads them all in. If it takes a while to load in you can just click this button here and that will actually refresh all of them anyway and um, basically force them to load in. Now there are some preferences that you can have a look at. You can do a bit of filtering. So I could click on Ed Brill for instance and it'll just show me Ed Brill's ones in there. You can see my other two have disappeared. Um, so if we go back to all feeds and we get that again with the other, the other two feeds there. So have a play around but really helpful little RSS feed reader.